fight it, don't trust them for the last couple sessions already the last couple months like it's been making 800 to 900 horsepower for the last few months already uh, with the built motor the 2650 supercharger and the stuff that we do to it still in a stock trans but the last session we actually thought we broke the trans um, and it ended up just being the inner stuff like this guy right here so this is what it's supposed to look like this guy goes in the transmission axle spoke right here um, and we snapped this right off and then it that made so much torque that broke right off and you know, $300 part, transmission is $14,000. We thought we broke it. I'm glad it's just a $300 part. So this car is still in a stock transmission. We have an OEM stub back in it, but they do make billet stubs that we're gonna put in it next. So this time around, we're just gonna try to launch it lower. Luckily, we have solutions with Christian uh, being able to hack and modify the calibration in this car to lower the launching of it. So no other car has had this mod minus our car. This is the very first C8 Corvette that has a OEM ECU with a launch control modified on the stock ECU on this combo. So uh, we've been working on this for a while now. We were able to finally crack it early this morning and we're at the track. So I can't wait to see how it works. Uh, now we can play around with the launch. So the Z06 has actually had this option to stop. Uh, you're able to go up and down in the launch control. Even my Blackwing does, but the C8 Corvette, the Stingrays does not. So now we have this option. We can go very high or very low on the launch. If you have a turbo car and uh, you want to ramp up the, the, the boost on the launch, we can do that on this setup. But since like, you're supercharged, you have to torque off the line real fast. Like this car makes full torque at 2,500 RPM. So if we have a 3,500 launch like OEM, you're going to hit 850 foot-pounds of torque off the rack. So you don't want that. We want to ramp it in 
and uh, if we get a softer launch off the line, uh, I think we should be able to go A to B real fast. So we're here to test it. Hopefully the theory works. Stage two, stage one. Again, but not what we're looking for. So that one ran a 10.6 at 146. It's, it's back half in hard. Lower the launch even more. Lower this time to launch better. So let's see if it does not wheelie. And uh, I really want to run a nine something today. So we'll see if we can make it happen. So there's bass number two. If we can not wheelie, I think we can go A to B and uh, be one of the fastest supercharged C8 Corvette out there. So I believe we can make it happen today. We just need some time. We only can learn on the track. So that's what we have to try this. So you guys don't have to with your own cars. So here we go. We're next. Take the record in this one. So that's 997 at 146. That's the fastest supercharged C8 Corvette out there right now for damn sure. So we gotta work on that launch a little better. And I think we got something to work with on this one. It's the PB on this car, obviously. And PB for a supercharged C8 Corvette. PD, centrifugal, whatever. So pretty cool. We made we went 147 miles per hour, 146.8. Well, we definitely made more changes and I think we got a better outcome this coming round if we can make it. So you guys can see there's a little bit of mist coming down, very slight, but they've paused running for a little bit just to dry it out and see what they do. It does get heavier, we're done for the day. If you guys watch the last footage, the car kind of rolled off the brakes instead of having a really hard launch that it usually does. You want it to be hard enough to not wheelie, but hard enough to leave the line and make an A to B pass really cleanly. So. We're in the midst of that. I would really like to thank Christian for staying with me all night and morning and testing the dyno and also our driveway uh, on the launch control setup. Um, he's been able to decode this car, basically modify the code for uh, the launch control settings. No other tuner has been able to change the launch control setting on this car, but since we have different methods and tuning, uh, it's a little unorthodox, but we literally code the car and it's working really well for our favor because we can change a lot more parameters on the car. Um, and just really grateful to have opportunities and people to work with us that, that really makes this possible for us. So uh, let's see what this weather holds and if we can crack one more pass.